Nick Saban said it best on this situation. Whenever something happens in the media with the player or just a situation with the player, the media wants to know how you're going to punish the guy. Um, you know, some people call it cancel culture. Some people call it whatever. Uh, but it's it's just the the yearn to punish a guy. So we got Brandon Miller, who whose name was bought up brought up in the case when his teammate Darius Miles shot somebody um, when they were at, at, at a stop after leaving a nightclub because it got denied from a woman. Um, at the time, uh, Darius Miles asked him to bring uh, the, bring him the weapon. So Darius Miles got the weapon from Miller. Um, his name was brought up. He wasn't he wasn't charged. It was brought up in a testimony by an investigator. Um, you know, I guess that's what Darius Miles said. Not Darius Miles of the past, but Darius Miles who played at uh, Alabama. Um, you know, who is you know looking at you know pretty much a, a, a you know life in prison at at, at the least. Um, in that situation, um, I, I say this. So they, they haven't. He's still playing. He's playing well uh, for Alabama, uh, and there's speculation of of hey he shouldn't be playing or or he should, whatever. It's not our right to judge whether he should be playing or not. You know, it's not it's not our right to say hey you know we don't have it's not our call. Like he didn't do anything, but the fact that we want to know. Or people want to know or say or say he shouldn't be playing. It's just absurd. Nick Saban talked about a guy um, that got got in some trouble for Alabama, uh, and you know got in trouble with Alabama. And when he got in trouble, the media only asked about how they're going to discipline him, and they never asked about how he's doing. You know, um, is does he have a support? Is there anybody to support him, etc. They 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 asked about. This the negative things. Now I will say this: there are good aspects of media, and there's some aspects of media that we can do without, right? It's the good and bad and everything in life, right? We gotta take it with a grain of salt. We gotta understand that's what it is. Some people are like, "Oh, I don't watch TV. All the news is bad." Okay, if you can't take it, don't watch. Don't don't make it seem like everyone should be watching TV because you you can't handle what's on TV, right? If it affects you, don't don't talk about. Oh, I can't do. Don't do this. And then think everyone should have that same type of approach. No, it's not about that. I say that because this. I understand that. Hey, look, we want to know. Like he's playing. You know what? 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 What more? What more do we want him to do? He wasn't charged in the case. His name was brought up. He wasn't there. It was the gun that he used. What? What uh, was brought to him by Miller, right? Uh, I'm not sure if the gun was licensed or not, but they haven't mentioned that it wasn't licensed. They say he was not charged with a crime. Um, you know, there's and then they, the 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 attorney, the chief deputy of district attorneys, Paul, Paula Whitley, told uh, Alabama.com, "There's nothing we could charge Miller with. What could they charge him with? Right? Um, so uh, uh, in a, a college day college game day cast on Wednesday." That there's some of the information that emerged, such as Miles text messaging asking Miller to bring the gun to the scene, affected the school's decision to allow Miller to play Wednesday against South Carolina. He won to score 41 points, you know, overtime win against South Carolina. Um, dude went crazy, um, but uh, the Jim Jim Stanrich, one of the attorneys representing Miller, also released a statement Wednesday saying Miller never saw Miles handgun. Saw saw uh, saw Miles' handgun and that it was a con- it was concealed under some clothing in the back seat of Miller's car. Standridge added that Miller never touched a gun nor was involved in its exchange exchange to Davis, the alleged shooter. Miller, whose windshield was hit by gunfire, left the scene when the shooting started. Oates said uh, said he believed his players understood the gra- the gravity of the, of the matter. And he believes the headspace is of the team is pretty good entering Sunday's home game against Arkansas. This is a lone act, um, you know, and the the head coach is pretty much you know, Oates is basically saying, "Hey, look, let's learn from the situation, right?" You know, Alabama, I, I don't know if this is because because the the head coach Oates has been working with Alabama, and I, I with with Nick Saban, and I I'm not. It's hard for me not to think that he did, he asked about how should he handle these situations with these players, and what Nick Saban does, he does understand players go through certain things, but the development of a, of a person is what Nick Saban focuses on, focuses on. So I, not saying giving all Nick Saban the credit, but 
it is good that coming out of out of Alabama, they do right by their players as best as they can. Right, and I think that's very important when it comes to recruiting, when it comes to schools, um, you know, sticking by their players uh, and the situation. You know, so look, it is what it is. Um, I think we should worry less about you know judging the guy and we're more worried about hey look we're more about hey look how can he get support um, you know he witnessed and saw something that was just heinous or whatever so um, you know yeah uh, I, I I just want to say hey look you know I I like what Oates is Nate Oates is doing and defending defending uh, um, uh, Miller and but at the same time you know showing how serious uh, a situation it is and how they should not how should they, how they should avoid it in the future.